What's up troopers, my name is Neon and today we're going through the best weapons for Season 6 for Battlefield 2042. I'm going to be telling you what are the best loadouts to use right now in the game and you guys are going to have so much fun with it. So what I need you troopers to do is let me know your top 5 best weapons in Battlefield 2042. Tell me in the comment section, love to know. So before we get into the video troopers, if you haven't already subscribed to the channel, please do, would really appreciate it. And of course, leave a like, thank you very much. Starting it off with number 1, we're going for the SMG class and this SMG class has been a really good weapon overall it's been a really good gun ever since day one it hasn't disappointed and i feel like everyone just using this gun now and it's a really good gun it really is and the weapon we're talking about is the pp29 what's so special about the pp29 is it does its firepower of 25 accuracy of 42 range of 37 with a handling of 59 with that rate of fire of 700 this gun is absolutely amazing because it actually offers you 65 bullets that's a really good thing especially for an smg what i'm going with the set up with this weapon i'm going for the standard dot sight i use the thermal sometimes really good when it comes to visibility i'm using the wrap suppressor and then i'm using the champion muzzle break they're a really good combo especially the wrap suppressor that's going to be really good when it comes to flanks and then when it comes to my magazine i'm using the standard issue and then i'm using the subsonic and then i'm using the high powered so seriously what you're waiting for you need to be using the pp29 really good smg and the next weapon we're talking about is almost just like an smg and is mixed between the two good at close range and good at medium range and that is the GEW 46. The GEW is a really good weapon especially when it comes to so many ranges it's just so much fun you're getting into the aggressive gunfights and then there's sometimes you're seeing an enemy at range and you're having no problem. A really good weapon especially if you are a big fan of the SMG class being aggressive this is the weapon for you. What I'm using the GEW is almost a similar setup as you've seen before I'm using the standard dot sight with the thermal sight and I'm actually using the tactical compensator because this is actually going to help you out troopers when it comes to your range as i said already troopers that the gew is really good at close range so you also want to perform at medium range it's assault rifle it can do that no problem but using the tactical compensator is actually going to really help you out when it comes to your range and you never know what situation you're going to be in you might need to get a flank so the wrap suppressor is going to be really good for you remember the wrap suppressor doesn't even take away any damage i'm using the laser sight because you never know what situation you're going to be in sometimes you might not even have a good opportunity to aim so you just need to hit fire and spray and pray also what's good about the laser sight it gives you better recoil control with my magazines i'm using the standard issue high powered extended and then the subsonic and now we're going for something a little bit more of a heavy hitter this gun hasn't even disappointed me whatsoever and that is the acwr i really praise this weapon and every time i talked about this weapon everyone keeps saying to me wow this weapon's actually really good i'm kind of surprised how well it performs you might be a little bit uncomfortable when you do use this weapon but after a while you're going to do really well this weapon is definitely a heavy hitter and you're going to do really good when it comes to medium to longer range the setup i'm using is the standard dot sight with the thermal sight of course i gotta go with that wrap suppressor you never know what situations are going to be in and then i'm actually using the default muzzle the default muzzle is probably the best one when it comes to accuracy and recoil i'm using the laser sight because that's going to be really handy when it comes to hip firing and my magazines the standard issue extended and then the standard issue you're going to really have a lot of fun when it comes to acwr well moving it up now i really want to go and show you guys something what's really good in the lmg class there's one lmg what just hasn't disappointed me ever and it's just been a really good weapon overall when you're going on crazy chaotic modes like breakthrough chaos or rush xl an lmg like the lcmg is going to be really a lot of fun for you the setup I'm going for is the standard dot sight with that thermal sight and I'm actually using the short end barrel because that's actually going to increase the rate of fire so it's going to be really good when you're playing aggressive. And then the next one I'm using the rat suppressor. There'll be times you get on a flank especially if we're playing breakthrough and you get onto that flank you see so many enemies and you're just like yes this is my time to shine. I also like using the LWG grip it's going to be really good when you're actually moving while aiming and then my magazines the close combat to the high power the standard issue extended. And the next one we're talking talking about well this is for the range this is really really just for range long range only really because that's how well this weapon performs we're talking about the m39 emr what's so good about this weapon is it offers 70 damage what is extremely good accuracy at 72 range at 65 what is very good and handling at 30 but you don't need to worry about the handling because this is a dmr you're really gonna have a lot of fun with this but these are the class that i'm actually using when it comes to this weapon i'm using a standard dot site for the close 
range. I'm using the 3x for a little bit more further, and then when it comes to visibility, I'm using the 2.5 thermal sight. I'm using a tactical compensator because there might be situations where an enemy kind of jumps in front of you and you just need to shoot really quick, but this is going to be really good when it comes to accuracy. I also use the rep suppressor, what is really a lot of fun when it comes to this weapon. Then I'm using a laser sight just in case for any close quarter situations. Then I'm using the standard issue extended, what offers you 28 bullets, what is really good. And then the default magazine. And yeah, troopers, there we go. That is my top five best weapons for season six for Battlefield 2042. As I said, troopers, you got to let me know your top five best weapons in Battlefield 2042. Anyway, thank you very much for listening to me talk. If you did enjoy the video, don't forget to leave a like, comment, subscribe, be a part of Pinkle Army. I'll see you troopers on the battlefield.